Hi everybody, it's Julie. I am here. I'm so excited. I'm here with my first design team project for Nevermore Creations 17 and I chose to use her Tickle Pink ephemera package and I have made a junk journal. It is a soft cover and it measures basically six by nine and a half the cover is so I used eight and a half by eleven papers folded in half and um, and then lots and lots of yummy fun stuff the cover is made with a pillow sham that was a quilted pillow sham and some of the various laces that I have and it's soft and it's fun down here I have a little flower charm, some other lace, and this little charm with the word enjoy. So I have chosen to tie it with flat lace that was avocado dyed. So I have several things throughout this journal that is um, avocado dyed. Um, that I Most of it I dyed on um, <laughs> avocado day. <laughs> So he opened it up. I used a pink fo file folder on the inside. Um, I did use a piece of that big gigantic bandage. I think we think it's we're not sure what tape it is, but it is a fabric tape and it was gifted to me by one of my subscribers and this time I put it on the outside of the fold instead of on the inside and it seemed to work much better as you can see it's actually laying flat um so here i've used uh in the the paper products i used like this paper here um was from some barnes and nobles a uh, paper uh, magazine that i got at barnes and nobles and it came with this paper and so i've used that throughout and then I used a couple pieces from this Prima paper pad uh, tales of you and me I used the um, well I made tags out of this paper and the last page so there's tags in here from those two pages and hearts um, throughout and then I used one of these pages is cut up and it's really large tags and then I used the cut apart page so I used all of these cut aparts throughout the book as well and that's all so that is the Prima 12 by 12 from Hobby Lobby and then I had this in my stash that I had gotten years ago. I think I got it at Tuesday morning. <laughs> it's a color box. And um, I bought two of them. I used several of the die cut. And some of the words. Some of the borders. And some of the tags. And a couple of the, the papers from the paper stack. So because the... Excuse me, the paper that I chose, or the kit that I chose from Lindsay's Nevermore Creations 17 was her Tickled Pink Ephemera Package. I don't have copies. These are the ones that I accidentally, I got them wet from the back and they, my print, I forgot that my new printer doesn't let me do this. My old printer would have let me do that. So, um... But it's five pages of ephemera. It is an awesome and it was really fun to work with. And I will show you throughout this book um, the images that are from, from that. So then I have several coffee, or avocado dyed pages um, throughout. So like I said, the, the inside is a pink file folder. It is vintage. And um, I think it turned out really kind of cool. This was from the cover of that paper pad. And you'll see that it's where the 
it was showing us all the different pages. Um, here I've taken one of the papers from the paper stack or from the color book and just made a really large tag. Here's a paint card sample and this is a really neat panel card. It took the avocado dyeing. It just turned out really cool. So this is a tag right here that was avocado dyed. This is one of the images from the kit and I just ripped the bottom and the top after I had cut it out and I thought they could put their name here if they wanted to. So um, I used a white doily. I have flat, uh, the hearts, several of the hearts throughout the book um, and here we have the word enjoy. So this is just, I, I just couldn't cover this up. It's so pretty. Um, and I folded it over and made a flap here. This page has the embossed from a charger plate. And so I wanted to be able to see that there. So I folded it over and made a pocket here. And there's a lot of stuff in it. There is so much place, so many places for journaling here. Um, here's just a piece of eight and a half by 11 avocado dyed paper. So if you have a long story, you can put it there. If you have a medium story, you can put it here on this card. We have one of the tags and I've just attached some of the lace to the top. And this is one of the cards from the kit. So I, I made a flat paper clip using one of the tickets and there was uh, one of the um, ephemera pieces in the kit with several tickets, several of these ice coupons. And so I have a flat um, paper clip here. So we have the ticket on this side with some of the gold eyelash trim. This is a broken earring. And this was um, the charm that I made in my stamp all about it, or stamp away Saturday, a couple of Saturdays ago. So this is a, a paper clip. And I made a charm out of a paper clip. On the other side, I just because I didn't like the way it looked with just the paper clip on this other side, I made this little thing here. So um, with that off, you have a tuck space where you can write there. And this just holds this heart over here. We have several items in this pocket. So here's one of the cut aparts from the Prima paper. And you could put it in this way and then right on this side. And it has lavender water bottle, which I thought was kind of cool. This is a card just made from a part of the cover of the paper. And we have the rainy day. This is from my, my kit. Um, I think it's April music, the April music kit. But I have several... Um, it's actually antique music, and so I made a journaling, several journaling, journaling cards, and that one got um, coffee dyed or avocado dyed. Here I have some um, scrapbook paper. I've cut out one of the, or I ripped out this echinacea or coneflower from um, Lindsay's kit. And I put it here and then here I have a heart clip that I make using two hearts and it is holding this little card. <laughs> so on this side we have a pocket and it's been stamped and we have another one of the, the cards from her kit and some more of the paper from the color book kit. Here's some really old paper. It's actually in between the acetate that my dad gave me. And I just put this little seal right here. And so plenty of room to write there. This is some children's um, note paper. And I've made this tag. And it has secret journaling. So you can flip it up and come inside and journal inside. And it just hold, it just fits right over the top of the 
yeah. Right over the top of this. There we go. So here um, I did a flip. It has one of the cut aparts from the Prima paper pad and then a heart on this side. One of the one of the cutout hearts that I cut with my Cricut. So here I've put a piece of the lace. This is one of the shirts that I cut up and I just stapled it on here. This is one of the uh, ephemera pieces from Tickled Pink. And then I added the word delight and some lace and some washi tape. This is one of the papers from the um, from the magazine paper pad. Here we have one of the tickets that I cut out with, or tags, that I cut out with my Cricut. This is out of the color box paper. And then I made this little notebook out of some of the scrap papers that I had. So there's places to write things. We have this little tag in the front and this little card in the back. Just kind of fun. Another place to write some little things. So you can write here or put pictures. This is a calendar and um, this is the back page and I just added some this I punched out with my scallop punch. This was one of the punch outs from the color box and I added some lace underneath here and I stapled this on and so I put washi tape over the staples so we won't have any any problems. I made a belly band on this side so you can pull these out and you can actually write on the calendar and then these just fit right inside there. So here we have a flat paper clip made like a ticket paper clip and I've attached a safety pin with a couple of pink pearls and this is an envelope and it just opens up and you can journal inside this envelope. It could have kind of some semi uh, secret journal journaling because people are probably not expecting that to not be an envelope. And then uh, one of the large cards made out of the Prima. Okay, so the, the flap from this envelope comes across the other side. There's a tab here. It's a um, half of, it's two halves of a scallop circle cut in half and then glued together. So, there we go. And then this side had another one of the cut aparts from the um, Prima paper. Here we have a glassine bag. Inside the glassine bag, this ticket is supposed to be <laughs> on there. Um, we have this little girl. She's one of the cut apart pieces from the Prima. And she just, I thought she looked pretty in there. But you could actually take and put a picture that you wanted to save in there. And then I did a collage on the back of this. And so it has the girl drinking tea and the heart. Here is um, another calendar page. This is the larger calendar page and it um, was interesting. It had kind of a, a weird print up here and so I just tore it off so that we didn't have to look at that. I made another flat paper clip out of some of the ice coupon from the kit. This card is from the kit and this one is another one of the cards from the Prima. So I made a pocket of, out of the calendar um, and in the pocket we have this is a really large tag I made and it has one of the cut aparts from the color box with um, some lace and this is an adorable pattern from the um, from Lindsay's kit tickled pink kit just absolutely adorable I think we'll put it right there then I made this flip and um, so it has one of the cards from Lindsay's kit it has some lace here it has lace behind it and you can flip up and write you could write in there you could write under here 
can write in there and then you can write under here and this has a little um, it has the, the the little flap that I cut out of one of the pockets it's on some lace and the other broken earring is on there and then up in at the hole of the ledger paper I went ahead and put some of the eyelash trim I had put some of the lace behind here so you didn't see the white of that. This is another shirt that I had taken apart and this is some of the lace from it. I added this also from Tickled Pink. I ripped it out and it is a tuck space so we could put tuck something in there. And then we have this little bead charm down here with several pink beads and you'll see I use all different colors and shades of pink blue pinks and peach pinks um, all different shades so here is another piece of that earring see it's the actual earring I've attached this little cup and one of these sparkly butterflies and attached it into the lace here we have one of the borders and some washi tape Here's one of the little pieces of the paper from the magazine. This is wrapping paper that I had in my stash and I backed it with some of the Tim Holtz um, vellum paper that I had and then a large card and tag that could be uh, written on. So it makes a large pocket. It also added stability to the wrapping paper. And I put the tag here with the hole in the little spot right there. And then I collaged a heart and this little spot here. So you could do some um, journaling here. Here I've made a clip-on using the hearts and um, a piece of lace. And it just holds on here. And you could put something in there what do, we, do we have anything we have this this is way too big but you could put something do I have anything little I have this that we could cut <laughs> sorry it's like there's no sense today in having pink scraps after this is use there so that will just hold it'll hold a little scrap or it'll hold a card or um, well on this side it's holding another music the music from the Trey Jolie kit my Trey Jolie kit and dear Julie Julie so this is the music from it um, here I made a large paper clip using a heart and a piece a tag piece so it's a large flat paper clip you want to be really careful on this really old paper okay. you open plenty of space to write and to write and then we here we have a dictionary pocket with a tag and more spots to write this is the center of the signature and I've added some little pink pearls and they hang down at the bottom we have an edith holden page that had the pink flowers in it it says we will remember these days forever we have a journaling card from the prima paper we have a notepad that i made using the avocado dyed paper and tags that I cut with my Cricut and in the back is one of Lindsay's tags and one of the little pink address tags. So that's just in there and then we have the hearts over here and they are holding open this clothes, this pocket. This is a piece of lace that I got off of a um, a vintage almost antique wedding dress so um, that my mom <laughs> my mom got <laughs> and then we have one of these pages from the address book and a tag and of course you put whatever you want into this pocket 
and then it's just held closed by these hearts. So it will hold more stuff in there, and then the lace comes off the edge and off the bottom. I just absolutely love the way that turned out. I love this card. This is one of the cards in the Tickled Pink ephem Ephemera Kit, and it's beautiful. That bird is absolutely beautiful. So this is another one of the pages, and this time I fold it. It was one of the pages from the... Um, uh, Barnes & Noble from the magazine, and I folded it over, added the bird to the outside. I sewed this closed, and we have another one of the papers from the color box kit, one of the Cricut tags, and this gardening notes, and this came out of, I think it's like English Garden. Um, it's the cut-aparts in the kit, the Hot Buy kit at Michael's. And I had those on my desk, so I was like, oh, it's pink. I'll use it. So I used washi tape. You'll see it throughout this pink. And then this, this right here. And I just cut it up into little pieces. And the pink. And this pink here. And just cut it up into little pieces. So they are all over throughout. Here we have a piece of the lace. And it's glued on, and it's got a little bell double-tied on there. Up here, oh, I um, this is the dictionary paper. And I added one of the po or postcards. This is from, I think this is from my fairy kit, the Dear Julie Julie. Here's another card from the English Rose Hot Buy at Michael's. It matched, so I put it in here. I just thought that yeah, it matched. So up here, we have this, uh, some kind of duck. I can't read it. I'm going to get new glasses. But this is out of Lindsay's ephemera kit. And um, I used uh, my cutter that left a frayed edge. I think I did that on purpose, and I love the way the lo it looks. So up here we have a paper clip, and this is from the color box um, die cuts that I had. And this is some of the color box paper, and it folds over, and it has this long piece on this side. And then this is the paper clip. It is using one of Lindsay's um, ephemera, and I attached it to one of those cards that I had. And, um, yeah, and those are like 16 years old. This is the original, um, when I bought my business cards for Mary Kay, this was the original, uh, cards that came with it. And that's going to be 16 years that I've been in Mary Kay in October. So, um, then I added this, this is out of one of the booklets of paper that I have. And I just, I thought it was perfect. perfect. Um, and then there's plenty of room. I left this one blank. Everything here is just attached over. And then this on the side. So you have all that writing space, all that writing space, all this places to write. This old paper I left alone. This one I added a, a place that comes down. This is another one of the cards from the ephemera kit. I think I used every single card. If I didn't, um, it's around here somewhere, <laughs> but I think I did. Here's another one from her ephemera kit, and I cut it with my scallop circle, um, and then I made this collage pocket. So I collaged this scallop circle onto this witch hazel liniment, and this, um, ice coupon here and made this pocket that all of these things would fit in. So this is one, two, and this is part of all those ice coupons. I think there was four of them. And um, so the different pieces, and I made this collage pocket that then holds one of these cards. She's so cute. This is from um, Lindsay's uh, the Tickled Pink Ephemera Kit. And I made this tag using the pink file folder um, pieces that were left over after I had 
uh, made the cover. And then this is a tag that I made out of the Prima paper. And they just slip in there. Um, this one has some of the gold eyelash trim. I like it because it sticks up out of the top. And then this has gold eyelash trim and the lace. But, and then I stapled it with the tiny attacher. Really like the way that looked. So um, this was a stationary paper. And um, on this side, I love that it had the doily look. So I left it so that you can write there. This is an envelope that I've attached onto, this was the wrapping paper. Okay, so we have the wrapping paper. I left a tuck spot. This envelope had this um, really neat edge to it. I added the word happiness. And then I made this collage. Again, this is one of the birds out of the Tickled Pink ephemera kit. And the word remember came from the color box die cuts. So this is an envelope and you can open it up and it has a card that I made out of some of the paper from the, um, from, that I got with that magazine from Barnes and Noble. So, and that was a few months ago, maybe more than a few. And I just set that in there so it flips up. And there's places to write, or you can put pictures. You could actually take this out and turn it in, into its own little notebook. I made this large pocket here, and inside this pocket has an 8.5 by 11 that I've tied with the pretty string. It's avocado dyed paper. So keeping with the pink theme, and yet I use several different colors of pink throughout, and I'm still really happy with the way all the different colors and mixing, mixing the vintage with real, you know, real photographs like the, <coughs> excuse me, the calendar. I think it turned out, it's turning out really cool. Here's what, another one of the images and I just ripped around so that it wasn't just another straight card pocket. Um, this is another paper from the, um, the paper from Barnes and Nobles. I just took one of the postcard images and folded it in half and turned it into a card. And then we have this just scrap here. Another one of, I like this, another one of the images from the ephemera kit and this little tag that was in my stash here. It was gifted to me in a rack a while back. So here's another one of the postcards from my fairy kit. And what it is, it's a page that has four, the backs of four postcards. So I put one here, added the card from um, the kit, Tickle Peak kit, added some washi tape here and here. Um, this was from the seam of the shirt that I took apart. And some of it, I I got the two different flowers staggered like that, and I thought it was kind of cool. And so I just attached it, so some of it stayed in and some of it goes out. These are the cards that are in this pocket. One from the Prima, one of the avocado dyed cards, and then the Flamingo. And I left it long, it was the bottom of one of the pages, because I knew I wanted to make sure it was going to stick up wherever it was. So you could see it. So here we have another tuck spot. So um, it ha makes a pocket, yet it opens up and you can write in here. And here we have one of the cut apart from um, the Prima. And I just added another one of those um, lace there. Um, we have one of the tags from the Cricut. And then this beautiful tag has uh, one of the images from the kit, some washi tape, and this beautiful pink ribbon. Here we have the ledger paper. And originally, I just added this uh, flower from the digit or the die cuts out of the color box, and this piece of scrap. And eventually, then I was like, oh, I need to put. I had this charm, so I added it to a paper clip, and then I added the tag and 
another piece of ephemera from Lindsay's kit right here. So this is an eraser charm and I have several videos and I'll be doing another one coming up here um, using Halloween erasers. So this is another one of the tags from the Prima and one of these hearts. And you can go ahead and journal on these hearts that are throughout this journal. And this journal is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop, Dear Julie Julie, and it is on sale over Labor Day weekend. Everything in my shop is 20% off. Ah. So um, this is another calendar page. And I added one of the cards from um, the kit here and then the word bloom. And then I just added some of the Baker's Twine. This is out of the Baker's Twine from Dollar Tree. And I just put it through the hole and tied it. Um, I made a matchstick with a, with a heart on it. And this was some coffee dyed paper that was on my desk. And I was like, oh, I think that'll fit in the, the calendar spot. And it did. So um, this is a paper that I had left from the, uh, the papers from the magazine Barnes & Noble thing. Um, I love this paper. And I liked that it kind of helped blend the pink file folder. And it gave me some more of that color, peachy pink, into the book. And I could get a couple of large um, tags for journaling. And um, then this is the, the tag from the Prima. And you could either turn it around this way, or I just, I did like the word simple things. It was different, um, but it could go either way. So you have that flip out and then you have this page here and I thought you could put a picture or stuff, something like that here. We have the other side of the glassine bag and um, it has this tag. This is the, the, less, the, the left, the rest of the cover of those papers. I like that it had, um, it was backed. So, and then I just tied that ribbon and I like the way it looks tucked into this little envelope here. I put a piece of um, scrap paper that was on my desk, added the happy memories, and put the baker's twine through the string again. And this actually is kind of behind the this heart. It has the card from um, from the kit. And it says bubbles and it's got a little kitty and a little girl. It's so cute. And I, I, so I put it in here. I thought that's really fun because you can still see it. And, um, and then it goes underneath this heart. But that left, we still have all this room to write. And, um, it, yet that made, I, to me, that made it a nice page. Um, I glued some of the avocado dyed lace here added this flower that was in my stash. I glued this piece of the lace from the wedding dress here. Um, that's why my video is so late. <laughs> it took forever to dry. It, uh, it took hours for it to dry, but it's dry now, so it won't stick to anything. Um, I added this little flip here, and um, this is avocado dyed paper that I dried on a grill paper a grill sheet and I got it at Dollar General but I was at Dollar Tree and they have these grill sheets at Dollar Tree um, it's like a cookie sheet but it's got holes in it and I'll tell you what this paper right here it looks so cool for Halloween see how it does this whatever this black thing that it's doing I think is really cool here's some more of the wedding dress and I glued it here and I did that before I went to bed, night before last. And so it had plenty of time to dry. There's another piece of that really pretty paper. It's attached to um, the calendar. And then I've taken just a safety pen and added some pearls here. We have one of the tags and um, from that I cut out from my Cricut 
So you turn it over. This is the back page here, and I added the piece of vellum from um, the Tim Holtz vellum, and I just glued it in and then added a card. And um, so there. Here is a lace flip, and I went ahead and this piece of lace was not quite long enough, so I added this beautiful lace. Both of them are avocado dyed. Here's part of the wedding dress. I stitched it across and stitched the, the tag on as well, added some baker's twine there. You flip it up, and there is a little heart here, so you could put something here. Probably not that because it's going to be too big, but you could put something in there, and yet you could still um, journal on on the um, on that back part as well. You flip it over; it has the pocket, and um, I made a little pocket here for using one of the ephemera. And then we have another one of the ephemera cards, and it's long so that it could stick out some of the children's paper, some of the old paper. Here I have the fussy cut on some lace on a border. Here's another one of the heart um, over the side things. And then this is a pocket or an envelope that I made with six, I cut out six by six paper, made an envelope. And then inside it has a little wallet flip. So it has the beautiful image from the kit with the harp. I love this. It's probably, this is my favorite in the kit. I have a friend that plays the harp and um, I'm always looking for harp things. She's also crafty. So, um, I'm always looking for harp things to be able to use. I I make a I've been making a photo album for several of our couple friends, and um, so I can use those things in it. So it has cut aparts from the. This is one of the cut aparts. This is a cut or die cuts from the um, color box. This was gifted to me at some point. Here we have a little pocket with one of the cards, so you can journal. so you can journal on it, and it goes right back in that pocket. I love it because it's sweet peas. Then we have this pocket here that I um, I put this piece over and turned it into a pocket. And inside the pocket we have a little extra piece and this beautiful note paper that I got at Dollar Tree that I think just matched perfect. So that is our little wallet flip and it goes right here in this envelope and it just goes underneath that little heart. We have the, another one of the backs of a postcard from the early 1900s, part of my collection. It's um, the four, you get the four postcards in the fairy uh, kit in Dear, um, Dear Jolly Jolly. This is a trade card. It is also from Lindsay's kit, uh, Tickled Pink. And then so is the girl picking apples. And I've put her on one of the one of the note cards that I had in my stash. And then the free silver pin is also, this advertisement is from the kit. And then we have this tag. And all of those are just being held in the little flip here. And then we have this little heart kind of going across, just helping to hold them in a little bit. We have the large pocket here made from the paper from the, that I had gotten with the magazine. This beautiful panel card. It just took the avocado die so well. It has another trade card and I've gone ahead and fussy ripped around it and added it there. We have another one of the pieces of that scrapbook paper. And then this is one of the cards from the kit. 
and I've attached it with lace in between onto one of the scrap papers. And so these just go in the large pocket and then this card comes out over the top and you're able to write here on the back on the, all of those and then with this being here it gives you more writing space instead of if I had just glued it on there. You have more writing here on the charger paper. So this is a charger plate that I embossed when I avocado dyed that. I've got a piece of the lace down here and I've sewn it on and turned it into a pocket. And you could actually journal all in here, put pictures, and then we have this tag that has another one of the ephemera pieces from the Tickle Pink collection. And then here is the last of the Tickle Pink cards from the ephemera collection, a postcard from the Prima paper, and a tag cut out of the Prima paper. We have the white doily. Here we have the large pocket and it's a, ta it's a card. So you could put pictures or um, you could even close this off and you know put one of the tags maybe in the, the end here. You have to cut it down a little bit. But anyway, you could do that. So this has another one of the tags and the paint chips and that one of those tags. So that is my first design team project. Um, for Nevermore Creation 17. I hope she likes it. I hope you all like it. Do go and check her out. Her um, Etsy shop is Nevermore Creation 17 on Etsy. And um, her YouTube channel is Lindsay Zanor. So do check her out. I'll have her tagged in the description box below. Um, I'd love to know what your favorite is. This book this journal will be for sale in my shop tomorrow and my whole Etsy shop is not on sale for the Labor Day sale weekend for 20% off. All the digital kits, all the regular kits, all the journals, everything that's in there, the scrapbooks, everything that is in there is 20% off. And um, so that includes the Christmas kits. I believe there's 10 different Christmas kits available and those are while they last once they're gone they are gone I cannot <laughs> I cannot make them <laughs> um, as they are I won't I don't have that amazing stuff so do check that out so I love this I think it is a great size for a, a journal I love the soft cover so I hope you enjoyed this Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here. Have a great day. Bye.